Hey, are you going to the meeting tonight? What meeting? Uh, Chief Turner's last meeting. Chief Turner's last meeting? Really? You didn't know he was retiring? Retiring? Lord, don't nobody tell me nothing. So what's up everyone? My name is Kyrie Clements. I am your new host for Around APD. I'm here to bring you all things Atlanta Police Department related, keep you entertained and keep you informed. So let's not waste time. Let's get into it. In case you missed it news. Earlier this month, the Atlanta Police Department and the SWAT team teamed up at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta Hospital to bring the patients bikes and toys. SWAT team members dressed up as elves and they helped Santa hand out gifts for the children of the hospital. But the fun did not stop there for the month. The NBA Retired Players Association teamed up with Atlanta Police Department to bring the first Ballin' for Peace Day at Morehouse College. At this event, youth ages 8 to 16 were invited out where they got to enjoy a day of fun, giveaways, also informative workshops on how they can stay safe, ways to carry themselves, and other things that they need to know with this day and age. The night was concluded with a celebrity basketball game featuring NBA players as well as comedian DC Youngfly. Then the children also got to enjoy a performance from the Taylor Girls. So as you can tell, we've had a pretty busy month, if I must say so myself. We actually just concluded it with a pinning ceremony, which actually marks the final pinning ceremony under Chief George N. Turner's leadership. At this pinning ceremony, friends and loved ones were invited out to celebrate their sworn officer loved one and relish in the moment, because this is huge. You just got promoted, okay? That's, that's huge. <laughs> so with that being said, with, George, with Chief Turner being in his Final days here at the department, we actually landed an exclusive interview with him. So you don't want to miss this. So stay tuned. It's coming right up next. He's actually preparing for his retirement. How does it feel? Well, you know, it's bittersweet. You know, after 35 years of uh, really coming to work and doing the same thing, although it's been 17 different assignments, it's still going to the same job, knowing where you're going to go every day, thinking when you go to sleep at night, you know where you're going. And so now as I contemplate next steps in my life, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's different. And, uh, you know, I'm going to miss really the people, the men and women that have sworn to protect and serve our citizens, that do an amazing job every day um, to really just serve the city, to serve each other. Uh, What's a phenomenal, phenomenal brotherhood that makes up uh, a police department. I still believe that uh, law enforcement is one of the most noble professions one could choose. And uh, if I had the opportunity to do it again, I would say, sign me up. Wow. Take me. And now you actually mentioned those 17 positions that you had, and we were actually looking back on it last week, and you know, at your final COBRA. So looking back on those pictures, like, do you feel that there was anything in the, the last 35 years that you didn't get to accomplish that you would like to, or anything you would have done differently? Yeah. You know, especially as you get prepared to move away from an amazing opportunity, by the way. Um, I think about the things that we could have done differently. I would have loved for us to be able to uh, to be able to move our, our physical structures in a different place. Our, our precincts need to be repaired. We need new precincts. We need a new public safety training facility. Those things that I had in our strategic plan goals that we were going to be working on, we've been working diligently at that, but we just don't control all of those. And then uh, the challenge around uh, what we're doing around recruiting. You know, this is probably one of the most challenging times in law enforcement, not just in Atlanta, but around the country as relates to how we recruit people to this ranks. Uh, we have a significant number of vacancies in the Atlanta Police Department, and uh, I believe we've got to be able to continue to tell the story that this is a noble profession, and that if you really want to make a difference in the environment that you find yourself in, 
sign up and join the, uh, join the Atlanta Police Department and other agencies around the country. There it is. So going forth, what can we expect from you? Like, I, I know 35 years is going to be kind of hard to get out of the swing of things. What is, what's going to be the new swing of things? What can we expect? Well, that's, that's interesting. I, I don't know what it's going to be. You know, I've had some uh, a couple of opportunities to talk to some folk, but I'll assure you that uh, I won't do a whole lot outside of uh, doing the honeydew list for the first three months. You know, I've got a lot of things that have gone lacking at the house. Uh, I got a garage that looked horrible that I need to take care of. This is a lot of little things, but I, I want to be able to try to hit the ball straight on the, go on the, on the golf course, you know, and keep the ball in the fairway. I mean, I, I've uh, deviled, uh, deviled a little bit in golf, and, and uh, I love golf, love being out. But uh, it doesn't love me. But mm. hopefully I get a chance to get some lessons and get a little bit yeah. better at that. Okay. Well, thank you, Chief Turner. We know you are a busy man, and we are so grateful for your 35 years of service. And thank you for donating your time. Listen. On this final episode of 2016 of Around APD, we had the Honorable Chief Turner. Thank you. I, I just want to thank the men and women, though, for just the work that you do on behalf of the citizens of the city. I am a, indeed honored uh, to have served as the 23rd police chief in this city, and uh, I could not have had the kind of successes without the men and women that do this every day, both sworn and civilian. So thank you all, and happy and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Be sure to head on over to our social media pages so that you can find out how you can stay on top of the news and everything going on here at the department.